His entire relationship with me has been one long audition for Booksmart, and he nailed it. It's the last day. We got you through high school. I need to go over the end of the year budget numbers. Can't we just graduate, head off to college? That should do it, right? Directing him, are you able to easily take off the personal hat and put on the professional hat? How did that work? I mean, not completely. Like, it's still, there's still a shorthand that comes from being someone's closest partner, but I loved being able to just kind of like set him free because he's one of the best improvisers in the world and I just loved that we got him to take this bit of information we had in the script and run with it and he gave us so much I mean we were dying laughing behind the monitor the whole time I was like this is remarkable not many people can do that no um, and I loved in the scenes with him our girls our two leads Beanie and Caitlin are just looking at him like how is he doing that well, a master at his craft yeah honestly yeah. we will persist I can't hear you I can't soundproof glass. Were the kids with you guys? Did you make it a family affair on set? You know, I think for every working mother, that's the balance, right? Figuring out how much you can bring your kids to work and how much it will distract you. And I know there's a lot of mom guilt out there thinking about, like, shouldn't I be able to do it all at the same time and do it all perfectly? And you can't. It's a balance. So I shot four weeks of nights on Booksmart. I would come home at 7 a.m., get the kids up, make them breakfast, get them ready, take them to school, and then just, like, melt. Just collapse. And... That's not something I could do for a sustained period of time, but for this moment, I was like, this is my dream come true. I get to direct a movie. I'm gonna give it my all and, and make it work. And I imagine it's important to you to show them that mom is a boss. That's right, that is right. Yeah. To show them, follow your dreams and go for it and be brave. She's got a really cute smile. Go talk to her. You've told the story how you had your friend go up to Jason and give your phone number. Oh yes. So yes. what is your advice to girls who are pining for a crush and don't necessarily know what they're doing? I mean, you had the confidence. My advice is go be awesome. Just be awesome and the right people will be attracted to you for who you are. So I also think, you know, if you do admire someone, just know that you being yourself completely is what will draw them to you. Oh, oh, sorry, oh. sorry. Sharp elbows, not as sharp as your chin. What? 